Greetings and salutations, my friends. This is Intuitive Theories with a Dr. Tori Jo Hinks. I wanted to come across a couple different techniques that I have found that help me to center myself, to relax, to calm in those moments of stress because we are going into a very stressful period. Now, the first one maybe even the only one I might get around to talking about is how to connect your body, your breath, and your intention. Okay, and it uses your hand. Now, use your dominant hand. For me, I'm left-handed, so I would use my dominant hand and my non-dominant hand as the pointer, the connector point. We are using ancient, ancient energy points and breath, okay? And so it's just simple. It really is, take a few minutes. So the pointer, right, you connect, first point. And you breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, breathe out, breathe in, hold, breathe out, and then stop at this other point. You'll feel tingling, well I do, I feel tingling. Normally, I will slowly breathe, okay? Now, count is important. It helps to distract your brain. It helps to switch the tracks, if you will. You switch the tracks from your mental focus. Now, this is the intention. So, when you are breathing in, you breathe in four, hold four, release four. So, count as you're doing this. So, one, two, three, four. In, hold one two three four out one two three four okay that simple touching the touching helps okay that's activating energy points every time you move there's energy points on every single digit everywhere you're touching there is an energy point that affects your body and brain. Simple. I've, I've had to use this little trick, little technique when dealing with people. And unfortunately now it's getting even worse especially here in the United States. Unfortunately, the human species has never been good at being lied to and then accepting the truth after they have done nasty things. And the last two, three years, there has been a lot of petty, vicious attacks against people that did not believe the narrative. And now those people that attacked and were vicious are saying, oh, just forget it. Just leave it alone. Now, in mental health, that's gaslighting. That's stonewalling. That's pure-blown frickin' narcissism. And yet, society has made mental health popular, so eh, let them be, right? But torture and ridicule those that think for themselves and that those empaths that felt it and went, ooh, no, that's a lie. I can feel it. I know it. Empaths aren't stupid. You might think we are naive because we want to see the good in people. 
But we are not stupid. We feel the deceit. We feel it. And I know that if you're watching this, you felt it too. And part of me wants to say have patience with those that were deceived. Because they're dealing with a lot right now. But at the same time, did you pay attention? Did you pay attention to what they showed you? Did you pay attention to who they showed you? Who they are? What they truly feel, with how they truly think. Because if you didn't, then you're lying to yourself. Take a few breaths. Give it a thought. There's so many times in this world that you have to use critical thinking and research it. Do your research. Don't just listen to the news. Don't just listen to the government or one aspect of things. My father raised me to listen to at least four to five different people's opinions before I made my own. Without that, what is our intellect for? Other than coming up with new and more evil things to do to each other? Or is it to use for critical thinking and compassion? For understanding and empathy over apathy? I know I went off the topic a little bit, but that's why I felt called to bring this. Breathe, think, use your brain. Reconnect those energy points so that it will help your brain work a little better. So that you can catch those things. So that you can understand that it's okay not to follow the narrative. It's okay to believe and listen to yourself. And know that it's not because every single channel is telling you to be ashamed of yourself. Turn off the damn TV. They've been programming you since it began. Turn it off. And if you feel the need to turn me off because I have struck a nerve or triggered you, many blessings. I hope only the best for you. I really do. And if you have a moment again to say, ooh, Okay, maybe I want to hear what she has to say. Come on back. I'll try to be here. It doesn't seem as if I'm getting any views, but I think that's my opinion. And this one here might just get me taken off the platform. So hopefully you see it. <laughs> but breathe. Remember, our bodies hold amazing secrets that connect our intention to our thoughts, to our body, to our spirit, to those around us. If anything, do your own research on breath work. Different counts help with different things. So the in count, hold count, and out count can change to help facilitate different intentions. Similar to that of Mundras and how to connect different fingers for different energy points. <sighs> this one's one of my favorites. People are always like, oh, that's the sign of the devil. No, it's not. This, this right here is to help release energies out. Anything that has been sent your way, it releases energies back out of you. My fingertips are tingling right now just from connecting those energy points. That's why mundras are very important in a lot of different modalities because they help us connect that intention to our brain. I hope anything I've said here today has helped at least to give you a little bit more insight onto the empathy that is needed People have been lied to. We don't take well to lying. 
if I'm lied to and I have caught it and found out about it a couple years later, I'm still mad about it. And yet with the societal shame, I do believe that they are going to hide that. And they'll be more angry at the people that made the truth come out than those that actually facilitated the lie. So breathe. That's all we can do. Breathe through it. The truth always comes out. Always. And if you are related to any of those people that follow the narrative so viciously and vehemently, my heart goes out to you. That is a very tough road to travel. Then I'm here for you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'd love comments. I'd love interaction. To know that people are listening. Even if you disagree. I will not shame you. Anyway. Many blessings to you. And I hope that you can learn to connect your mind and thoughts with your body and intentions because that will help you for what's to come. Until next time.